Hello, in this video, we are going to evaluate this without the use of calculator. We have 4 power 8 divided by 8 power 4 minus 8 power 4 divided by 4 power 8. And we can make use of two different methods. So let's start with method 1. So the first method is simply now this is 4. 4 is a perfect square. So 4 power 8, we can have it as 2 power 2, that is 4, or power 8, then minus 8 here, we can have it as 2 power 3, or power 4, and this is divided by 8 power 4 again, which is 2 power 3, or power 4, then we have divided by 4 power 8, which is 2 power 2, or power 8. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to make use of this identity a power n or power m equals a power n times m now we multiply this out we multiply this out multiply this and we multiply this so you have 2 power 2 times 8 is 16 minus 2 power 12 this is divided by 2 power 12 and this is divided by 2 power 16 right now the next thing we're going to do is to apply this other identity a power n divided by a power m equals a power n minus m so that means we're going to have 2 power 16 minus 12 minus 2 power 12 minus 16. so what we're going to have left is this will give us 2 power 16 minus 12 is 4 minus 2 power 12 minus 16 is negative 4. Now remember, if you have a power negative n equals 1 all over a power n. So you're going to apply that identity right here. So that means we are going to have 2 power 4 minus 1 divided by 2 power 4. So that means we can have it as 2 power 4 is 16 minus 1 divided by 16 and this is over 1 so if we find a common lcm which is 16 16 divided by 1 is 16 16 times 16 we have 256 minus 16 divided by 16 1 1 times 1 we have 1 so this will give us 255 divided by 16 this is one method now let's take the second method we have method 2. So we recall the problem and we were given something like this 4 power 8 divided by 8 power 4 minus 8 power 4 divided by 4 power 8. So let's get it. We have 4 power 8 divided by 8 power 4. Then we have minus 8 power 4 divided by 4 power 8. I think that should be the correct thing okay now in this second method what we're going to do is we can say let a equals 4 power 8 and b equals 8 power 4 if that is the case that means we're going to have a divided by b then we have minus b divided by a and going by this we can apply find the lcm and the lcm is here a b so we divide a b by b we are going to have a left a times a squared a is a squared minus a b divided by a again is b b times b we have b squared so let's insert it by that means we are going to have something like this a squared that is 4 power 8 or power 2 minus b squared that is 8 power 4 or power 2 divided by a b that is we have 4 power 8 times 8 power 4. So the next thing we're going to do is to apply this identity a power n or power c will give us a power n times c. So we multiply 8 times 2 and 4 times 2. So this will give us 
4 power 16 minus 8 power 8. Then this is divided by 4 power 8 times 8 power 4. Now the next thing we're going to do is 4 here we can have it as 2 power 2 or power 16 minus 2 power 3 or power 8. Then we have divided by 2 power 2 or power 8 times 2 power 3 or power 4. And we still made use of this particular identity, a power n or power c equals a power n times c. So by doing that, we are going to have 2 power 2 times 16 is 32 minus 2 power 3 times 8 is 24 divided by 2 power 16 times 2 power 12. Now, if you have a power n times a power m, this equals a power n plus m. So we apply that identity right here in the denominator. So we are going to have 2 power 32 minus 2 power 24 divided by 16 plus 12 will give us 28. So we have 2 power 28. So this can simply be written as 2 power 32. So if we add 8 to 24, we are going to have 32. So we have 2 power instead of 32, we have 24 plus 8 minus 2 power 24 divided by 2 power. Instead of 28, we have 24 plus 4. So the next thing we're going to do is we have it as we apply this other identity. But this time around, we have, if you have a power n plus m equals a power n times a power m. So that means we are now going to have 2 power 24 times 2 power 8 minus 2 power 24. And everything here is divided by 2 power 24 times 2 power 4. So what will happen is 2 power 24 here, 2 power 24 here, 2 power 24 here. Let's factor 2 power 24 from, from the numerator. So we have 2 power 24 times we have 2 power 8 minus 1. And this is divided by 2 power 24 times 2 power 4. So 2 power 24 can cancel 2 power 24, right? Because it is in the numerator and also in the denominator. So what we're going to have left is simply 2 power 8 minus 1. And 2 power 8 is simply 2, 5, 6 minus 1 divided by 2 power 4 is simply 16. So this will give us 2, 5, 5 divided by 16, and which is similar to what we had earlier on. So that is it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Kindly subscribe, share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.